part of lines here that's surrounded a porcupine. And let's just go here and get some good light. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You just want to get our shadow off it? Yes. Okay, get past it like this. Yeah. Okay, that's good there. That's good there. That's good. Yeah. Got this pride of lines surrounded this porcupine now on the plane, has got nowhere to go. Yeah, it's rattling the quills. They can kill porcupines, as can leopards, but there's a th the threat of obviously uh, getting quills embedded in the face. You can see how they're taking off. So he's got now, the biggest quills are on the back. He's got them raised up and then he'll rush backwards, rattling the quills, stamping the feet. Move back and get the shadow off. Don't want to disturb it too much. Just turn here. Okay. That line nearly wet itself. See, it's usually the youngsters that are more curious than the big ones. You look at this big female on the left and the ones on the right. They, uh, they've been here, done this before, maybe ended up hurting themselves. So this is not a meal they really want. Think of it as a Brussels sprout with spikes. What's the end game? Porcupine just has to escape. Yeah, but wow. essentially, well, essentially, what's going to happen they here is he's go, they're going to either give up and get tired and get get spiked in the face, or he's got to basically run and get into a hole somewhere. And many yes. many of these little mounds uh, have holes in them, or there just could be a, a hole in the ground. He could get into a bush because. Um, not really an animal they want to contemplate. You can see he's not really well protected on the nose and the forehand. That's the biggest problem, why they always have to raise those quills and spread them and, and keep the, the foe behind them. So the only release of the, the quill is the, is the quill, yeah. So basically the yeah, quills in bed. So basically there's a, there's a, like a sphincter muscle around the base of the quill and, uh, it's 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 like a normally when you when you pull a feather or a hair out of the follicle. Seem to be too no. Yeah, so basically you he embeds it into something and then he basically just relaxes and the quills then get pulled loose. So if you see lots of quills on the ground, people would think that they've been fired out and shot at something. You know, they shed their quills and regrow them like like we we do with hair and birds do with feathers, and. Um, they often do get killed and that's when you'll see leopards or lions will pluck the quills from them. And sometimes in their own social encounters, fights and mating attempts, quills will come out. Um, but like I said, it's a, it's a risky, it's a risky kill this. Uh, desperate lions will sometimes try and push it through. You end up with a quill in, the, in an eye or just in the face embedded in a, in a forepaw or something like that. And you end up with infection setting in. They're, they're very difficult to extract once they're deeply embedded. See the big lioness is losing interest now and saying, yep, let's go and find something decent. They, they're they not particularly hungry anyway. So you can see all of these guys have had um, a, a relatively recent meal. So they're not driven by hunger.